go to the Hello, so man. Good evening. Hello, teacher. I am. Yes. Okay. Hello. Good evening. It's so nice to see you again today. Okay. So, how are you today, Anne? Um, I'm okay. Oh, what makes you okay? Did something good happen? Um, it's not a uh, anything today. Nothing happened today? Yes. Okay, so anyway, did you eat your dinner already? Yes, I ate dinner. Very already. good. So what did you eat for your dinner? I ate chicken, um, uh, vegetable, egg, mm -hmm. and rice. Oh, that's yummy. So I think that's go, glow, and grow. Go okay. for, do you know go, glow, and grow? I don't know. Okay. So what food that belongs to go? Go, glow, and grow. Can you please guess? Because what you uh, eat right now belongs to go, uh, already belongs yeah. to go, glow, and I grow. Don't, I don't understand go, glow, and grow. Okay. So when you say go, these are the foods that gives us energy. Okay. Okay, like rice, bread, pasta. It gives us energy or carbohydrates. Okay, so go food. You eat go food, which is the rice. What about grow food? Grow. Grow food is eating a vegetable. Mm, okay, nice try. But grow foods just like meat, um, milk, okay. peanuts, egg. Those are the food that belong to grow. It makes you grow faster. Okay, what okay. about glow foods? Glow, G-L-O-W. What are the uh, foods that belongs to glow? Glow. Uh, mm -hmm. I think, I think that's more. Very good. Yes, you're correct. It makes our skin glow. It makes us beautiful. Okay, so you eat more vegetables because it it makes your skin glow. Even your face, it makes you beautiful or handsome. Okay, so anyway, in um enough with the food. Okay, so now Anne, are you ready to learn? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Very good. So about your homework, I'm very happy to see that you got a perfect score. So that was a job well done. Okay, so keep it up, Anne. So this time for tonight, our lesson is in Unit 28. It is entitled, Our Busy Holiday. Can you please repeat? Um, ten, Unit 28, Our Busy Holiday. Very good. What is holiday? Do you know the meaning of holiday? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, what is holiday? Can you please share that one in class? Holiday, holiday is a, a Tet holiday. Um, Very good. Example of that is Tet holiday. What else, Anne? Um, um, mm, uh, I think Miss Autumn Festival. Mm -hmm. Yes, Christmas. that is correct. Christmas. Very good example. Okay, so when we say holiday, it is a special day of celebration. Okay, a okay. day when most people do not have to work. Okay, just like that holiday, Christmas. And what are the upcoming holidays this April? I think there are so many holidays this April. Nine, tomorrow, it is the day of valor. Okay, for April 14 to 16, it is Lenten holiday. Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Black Saturday, and Easter Sunday. Those are we call Holy Week. Yes. Okay, so since our topic for today is about holiday, Monday is holiday. Will you like to have class with teacher AM? Uh, Monday. Wednesday, yes. Friday. Ah, yes. Monday is holiday. 
It is declared in Pantado that Monday is holiday. My question is, do you want to have class with me that day on Monday? Uh, yes. One minute, teacher. What? I think no, teacher. Yes. No. Okay, so you will be off. <laughs> So you will be off that day. If it's okay with you, Anne. Um, yeah, because yeah. you know, I want to have class with you that day. If it's okay with you, can we have a makeup class instead on Sunday? On Sunday? Uh, no, no, no. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Do you have free time 1 p.m. tomorrow? 1 p.m.? Yeah, 1 p.m. tomorrow. Check your schedule. Oh, uh, I think uh, no because uh, afternoon I think one pm I I will I go to school. Mm, I see. Okay, what about Sunday? Do you have Sunday. free time on Sunday? Um, I think no because I have a trip with my family. <laughs> Ah, okay. So you don't have any free time. So don't worry. You can enjoy your trip together with your family. You can take the day off, okay? But um, on Tuesday, what is your free time? Tuesday this week. Uh, next Tuesday. week. Tuesday next week. Next week. Tuesday next week, I have a free time, okay? Okay. So are you free 7 p.m. Tuesday next week? 7 p.m.? Um, I think yes. Okay, so can we have our makeup class that time? Yes, I think. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much, Anne. So now let's proceed directly with our lesson. Okay, so this is part A. What will you do here in part A is you're going to listen and draw lines. Then after that, you complete the sentences. Okay. Okay. So this is Alex Mile. He's a famous film star. What does he do? Okay. What does Alex do? Alex climb mountains. You say climb mountains. Climb mountain. Okay, very good. Alex also paint. You say paint. 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 Very good. He also film a girl playing basketball. Film a girl playing basketball. Oh, very good. And lastly, he fly a helicopter. Fly a helicopter. Great job. Okay, so now, Anne, you're going to listen and draw lines, okay? So this time, I will let you listen to the audio twice. Okay, Anne? Okay, teacher. Yes. 28A. Our busy holidays. Look at the pictures. What does Alex Smile do every week? Listen and look. There is one example. On Mondays, Alex climbs mountains. What? Every week? Yes. And sometimes, the mountains are very high. And the weather is very cold. Oh, OK. Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Mondays, Alex climbs mountains. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Alex loves being with his son, John on Saturdays. Do they do sport? No. They always go to painting school. I see. They paint pictures. No. They're learning to paint walls. Two. Does Alex have any more children? Yes. His daughter's called Lucy. 
She plays basketball very well. What, at school? Yes, and Alex makes videos of the games she plays on Tuesdays. Three. Alex is learning to fly. Is he learning to fly planes? No, helicopters. His wife, Mary, is his teacher. When does he have lessons? On Wednesdays. Okay. Okay, so now I want you to listen again so that you can double check your answers if they are all correct. 28A. Our busy holidays. Look at the pictures. What does Alex Smile do every week? Listen and look. There is one example. On Mondays, Alex climbs mountains. What? Every week? Yes. And sometimes the mountains are very high and the weather is very cold. Oh, OK. Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Mondays, Alex climbs mountains. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Alex loves being with his son, John, on Saturdays. Do they do sport? No. They always go to painting school. I see. They paint pictures. No. They're learning to paint walls. 2. Does Alex have any more children? Yes. His daughter's called Lucy. She plays basketball very well. What, at school? Yes, and Alex makes videos of the games she plays on Tuesdays. 3. Alex is learning to fly. Is he learning to fly planes? No, helicopters. His wife, Mary, is his teacher. When does he have lessons? On Wednesdays. Okay, so now, Anne, let's check if all your answers are correct. Okay, during uh, Saturday, Alex paints together with his son. Very good, that is correct. Then on Tuesday, he filmed a girl playing basketball. This is her son. I her daughter, I'm sorry. Okay, next, on Wednesday, he fly a helicopter and his teacher is his wife. His wife. Okay, yes, very good. Very good, Anne, because you got a perfect score here. That's four plus one is equal to five, five over five. Okay, so now, oh. Anne, you're going to listen I know you're you're going to listen again, then you complete the sentences. Are you now ready to listen? Uh, yes. Okay, great. 28A. Our busy holidays. Look at the pictures. What does Alex Smile do every week? Listen and look. There is one example. On Mondays, Alex climbs mountains. What? Every week? Yes. And sometimes the mountains are very high and the weather is very cold. Oh. OK. Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Mondays, Alex climbs mountains. Now you listen and draw lines. 
One. Alex loves being with his son, John, on Saturdays. Do they do sport? No. They always go to painting school. I see. They paint pictures. No. They're learning to paint walls. Two. Does Alex have any more children? Yes. His daughter's called Lucy. She plays basketball very well. What, at school? Yes, and Alex makes videos of the games she plays on Tuesdays. 3. Alex is learning to fly. Is he learning to fly planes? No, helicopters. His wife, Mary, is his teacher. When does he have lessons? On Wednesdays. OK, great job. So now let's check your answers. OK, for number one, on Monday, can you please read Anne? Oh, well, on Monday, Alice climbs mountains and the weather is sometimes cold. Very good. For number two, Alex always paints walls with his son, John, on Saturday. What about number three, Anne? Can you please read? Alex sometimes visits a uh, video with... Oh. <laughs> Alex sometimes video his children, Lucy. Ah, uh, uh, no, teacher. It's <laughs> daughter. Yes, it's daughter. Great. Okay, okay continue reading, Anne. Um, Lucy wants to play basketball on Tuesday. Very good. Alex always has has helicopter lesson with his wife, Mary, on Wednesday. Very good. Thank you for reading this one, Anne. You got a perfect score here. Great job. Because, you know, I consider this one as daughter because I know that you are just confused. But I know that okay. you know the answer. Okay, so do you have any question to me, Anne, before we proceed with the next slide? Um, I think no. You think no? Okay, great. So now, Anne, let's proceed here in part B. So you're going to answer the questions, okay, for question number one. Where do you go in the school holidays? Is it A, B, or C? Right. Oh, okay, teacher. You're going to tick the box of your choice or of your answer. Do you go to the park, A, or B, do you go to the beach, or C, do you go to the school? Where do you go in the school holidays? What is your answer, Anne? School holidays, same the holiday, teacher. Yes, yeah, school holidays are just holidays. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Why uh, they have a school holiday? Why? I what? What? What did you say? I I think I do I don't understand school holiday. I think school holiday. I uh we we um usually go to school. Ah okay. School holidays means you will be off from going to school. Okay, when your school declare that today is holiday, where do you usually go? Do you go to the park, to the beach, or you go back to school? I think you go to the beach. Okay, so you tick the box of your answer. Okay. Okay, mm. then in answering my question, wait me, you were gonna... Use, I always, I sometimes, or I never. For example, let me repeat my question. Where do you go in the school holidays? I sometimes go to the beach during my school holidays. 
Okay. okay. So now let me repeat. Where do you go in the school holidays, Anne? I sometimes go to the beach. Very good. So number two, what do you wear when you go to the beach? I sometimes, I, I always wear a shirt and a jacket. Oh, no. I, a jean. Okay. A jeans, yes. A shirt and a jeans. Very good. So who do you see when you go to the beach? I never see my teacher. Yes, very good. That's great. You never see your teacher, of course, because you're at the beach. You're not in your school. Then what What else? Do you see your family at the beach? Yes, I think yes, because I can go to when I can go to the beach with my with my family. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, you can't go to the beach without your family because you know yeah. you need guidance when you go to faraway places and you need money. You depend on your family, especially your parents, when there's some expenses. What I mean by expenses, if, if you're going to buy food, pay for the cottage, pay for the entrance of the, of the beach, like that. Okay, so now, Anne, let's proceed with the next slide. Okay, so here, this is part C. You're going to choose a word from the box. Then you write the correct word next to numbers one to five. Okay, so we have an example here. What's Alex's daughter called? Okay, so this is, um, what is this one? Let me see. Okay. Mm. Hello, I'm Alex's daughter, Lucy, and I'm 10. My brother, eh, my brother John, is a year younger than I am. In the school holidays, our parents always take us to exciting places like to the lake or the beach. We often go sailing on our boat there. Okay, so this time, Anne, I want you to continue reading and to tell me the word of your answer or to tell me your answer directly so where will you choose your answer it's from here inside the box okay teacher yes um we love swimming and playing in the water we like fishing in the river too but we never catch any big fish our dog Jack always comes with us. Sometimes we, uh, we, we, uh, uh, we fight, fight not. What is your answer in number three? Sometimes we, uh, sit. Yes. We frighten Jack's ball. Okay, try again. Try again. Right. Teacher, please say us uh, say again. Ah yes, frightened. Frightened. Okay, but in number three, this is not the answer. So uh, you need to try to find another answer. I'll give you the chance to change your answer. Wait. Mm, we hi hi very hi. good i jack ball and we try to find it i love dog that dog i love doing that last year we took jack on a problem and and helicopter ride when he was a puppy jack was really um Frighten it. Okay. A flying pot now he isn't. We like watching movies on our D DVD. Play DVD player and playing games on the internet 
but we don't do those things in the school holiday because we think it's more exciting to be outside. What do you like doing in your school holiday? Very good. Thank you for reading that one, Jack. You're a fast reader and there's no mispronounced word. Okay, but I want you to repeat this word again. You say frightened. Frightened. Very good. What does it mean when we say frightened? This means that you're a little bit scared or afraid. Okay. Of yes. Same, same the scared, afraid. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so for this one, you got a perfect score. Five out of five. Okay, so do you have any question to me, Jack, about the story? Um, I, I, I don't, I don't have any question. Okay, since you don't have any question, before we proceed with the next slide, I have lots of questions to you to check if you really understand. Okay, so what is the name of okay. Alex's daughter? Alex's daughter is named Lucy. Very good. What about her brother? What's the name of her brother? <laughs> his, uh, his name is... Uh, uh, is a uh, Ron John. Yes, that is correct. His name is John. Okay, how many family? I uh, know. How many members of family do they have? They have a. Um, okay, you I'll cannot see, you you cannot see the answer on the story. Okay. I like Lucy's John a parents a uh, parents and a dog, I think. So how many in all? I think five. Five, yes, very good, including the dog. Very good. Okay, so where do they often go? during their school holiday and they usually go uh go they they will sleep go uh go to exciting play lines uh the lake or the beach very good so that was all my question and and I'm happy to see that you really understood the story okay so okay. now please take note that we use go if the word ends with ing. Okay, ing, this one, we call this one as gerund. Okay, so let me put this one. We call this gerund. G E R U N D. What is gerund? This gerund. is. Okay, can you please repeat gerund? Gerund. Yes, uh, gerund means word means... that ends with ing. For example, sailing, eating, dancing, playing, singing. Okay, and we use go if the word go. ends with ing. Okay, do you okay. got it? For example, I want to go sailing. I want to go shopping. I want to go singing, eating, playing like that. So we use go. Then, okay, can you read this one, Anne? Yes. When we are talking about sports or hobbies, we often use words like go sailing, go swimming, go running. Yes, that is correct. When we are talking about sports or hobbies, what are okay. examples of sports? Sailing, swimming, playing basketball, playing soccer. We use the word go. Then we also use the word go if we are talking about habits. What are habits? Um, habits. Reading, singing, um, like that. Eating. Okay. Eating can be a habit also. So we use the word go. Do you understand, Anne? Yes, I okay. understand. So when do we use the word go? Go. I, uh, go. I 
is, is go styling, go swimming, go watching, go eating, go running. Very good. When we are talking about sports or uh -huh. hobbies. Yes. Okay, so next, we love, I will, we love, we use love plus ing if we are talking about both sports and hobbies. Okay, for example, we love swimming and playing in the water. Okay, Ooh, what's okay. this? Okay, another example. I love playing basketball and reading books. Okay, so we use the structure love plus ing. Okay, so now I want you to make a sentence using love plus ing. Okay, I love eating chicken and and playing game. Very good. That is a good example. Okay, so now, Anne, do you have any clarification to me? Yes, teacher. Love same like a uh, uh, so uh, love love so love plus ings and lies plus ings right teacher yes they are quite the same because when you say i like swimming and playing in the water that means that you like it when you say love that also means that you like it or you love it so they are just quite the same we can use love or like wow very good question that is a good question and Okay, teacher. Okay, so now let's proceed with part D. So you're going to write the correct words on the lines. Then you ask four questions. Okay, so what's okay. Jan doing here? Jan, Jan making a cake. Yes, very good. John is making a cake. What about Lucy? What's Lucy doing? Lucy is seeing the John and the cake. Can you please repeat, Anne? Um, Lucy is seeing the cake. Okay, Lucy is eating a cake. Okay, so no. now... Teacher, I yes? think in the picture, I think she's seeing. She's seeing? Yes. Okay, she's looking at Jan. But since you can see a cupcake on the table, let's assume okay. or let's just pretend that Lucy is eating this one. Because when okay. you put something, something on the table, especially food, you are expected to eat that one. Okay, okay. so that is just a pretension or assumption. Because in looking a picture, you cannot tell if it is right or wrong, if it is correct or not, or you cannot tell what are they doing in actual or in real life. And by just and by just looking at the picture, you're going to make assumption. I think Lucy is eating a cake. I think John is baking. I think John is baking for Lucy. So those are example for assumption. Okay, and okay teacher. okay so now you're going to write the correct words on the lines on the broken lines okay okay so we have an example here make a cake eat a cake what's a video okay watch a video okay watch a video very good what about this one go uh go go shopping very good go shopping for clothes what about the next line just your favorites just for very uh Ben. Very good. This is correct. 
Okay. Um, How about this one? From Chopin's Chopin's picture. Let's travel. Picture, picture. Picture. Phone your best picture. Okay, I think best picture. Okay, so is that final? Yes. Okay, so this one is best friend. You need to phone your best friend. Oh, okay. phone means you're going to call your best friend. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, I don't see the friend. I don't see the friend. Ah, uh, yes. That's why I asked you if this is final. You said yes okay. confidently. Okay. Okay. So what about this one? Go for a long. Go for a long. A long walk. Very good. What about this one? Draw a blank. Yeah. Draw a picture. Very good. This is correct. What about the last line? Travel by plane. Yes, travel by plane. Okay, so now, Anne, I want you to read the, this one. Um, Makes a cake, eat a cake, watch a video. Video, go shopping for clothes, listen to your favorite bench, phone your best friend, go for a long walk, draw a picture, travel by plane. Very good. Thank you for reading that one, Anne. Okay, how about you? Do you like to travel? Uh, yes. Okay, so what country do you like to go? I like to go England. Ah, oh, England. So what is in England that you want to see? Because I can. I want to see I want to go England because I can see my favorite club in England. Yeah, what is your favorite club? Can you please share that one? Uh, uh okay. My favorite club in England is Tottenham Hotspur. What's that? What club is uh, that? Uh, a football club. Ah, in football England. club. Okay, so now I know. Okay, so thank you for sharing that one. Okay. And I'm looking forward that you're going, that I will see that you can go to the England soon in the future. Okay, okay so now please take note that we use how often do you Okay, and what days do you? Okay, so we use, okay. we ask the question, how often do you draw a picture? So this can be answered always, sometimes, or never. When somebody asks okay. you how often, if it starts with how often, you okay. will answer that one as always, never, or sometimes. For example, how often do you eat in one day? I... Uh always I, yes always eat in one day very good or you can say i always eat three times a day in okay one. yes okay so what about this one what days do you phone your best friend okay so this you will answer this one sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday until saturday if somebody asks you what days do you okay so these are referring to the days from sunday until saturday do you got it yes okay so now let's apply what you have learned here okay how often do you sleep in one day i sleep two times in day okay so what days do you go to school I go to school every day. Oh, I know. I go to school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yes, very good. And you know, when you say every day, that is understandable. Because Mondays oh. until Saturday. Ah, no, no, no. Yes, you're correct because you specifically said it. Mondays okay. until Saturday because on Sundays I think you don't go to school. Is that right? Uh, yes. Yes. Or you can just say what when I ask you what days do you go to school? I go to school Monday to Saturday. Period. Oh. Uh, yes. To to be short. Okay. So now, do you have any clarification about this one? How often do you and what days do you? 
I do have any question. Okay, so now let's proceed with part E. Do you want to play a game, Anne? Yes. Okay, then let's play. This is entitled Who, What, When, and Where. Okay, tell me the name of a famous person or a cartoon character. Um, uh, uh, Doraemon. Doraemon, okay. yes, I know that one. Okay. Tell me something you do at the weekend. I some I some sometimes watching TV. Yes. Okay. What about this one? Can you tell me where you were yesterday? I I was uh, I was uh, school. Okay, at home in the park or in the bed. What about this one? Ah, okay. So, oh. tell me the name of a famous person or a cartoon character. Do you know Tarzan and Jane? Yes, I I know Tarzan. I yes. don't know Jane. Oh, Jane is the wife or a girlfriend of Tarzan. Okay. A woman who don't who don't have sleepers. Okay, teacher. Yes, because they are both at the jungle. Then tell me something that you do at the weekend. You can listen to the radio and eat watermelon. But, you know, you're yeah. correct because you watch television at the weekend. Okay. okay. Tell me something. Uh, can you tell me where you were yesterday? You said at school. Very good. It can be at home, in the park, or in the bed. Okay. Okay. Then on Tuesday, every day before lunch at night, what is this one? I don't know what's this. Okay, so now, okay. um, let me see. When did you last watch a movie? I last watched movies. I watched us. Uh, 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 I don't know. It's when so did you fun. last? What? I I don't know because I the last movies I watched is so far. You mean it's so far? What do you mean yeah. far? It's been a long time already. Long time, long time. Okay. Ah uh, yes, okay. Okay, so when was the last time that you ate um, meat? I, uh, uh, last time I wish meat is today. Uh, okay, so just recently. When was the last time that you went to the park? Park. Last time I went to the park is Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. Just yes. recently this week. Okay, so where did you go on Monday? Last Monday, last Monday. Last Monday, uh, I went to the school. Who were with you when you go to the school? I, 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 when I go with my brother. Okay, so how many brothers do you have or brother do you have? I have my, my, I, uh, no, teacher, I went to my, with, with my cousins. Cousins. Oh, cousins. Okay. okay. So, since you mentioned brother, how many brother do you have? I have one brother. Are you the, are you the eldest in your family? No. Uh, yes, yes. Ah, yes. Okay, so now, and thank you for answering my question. So here, this is your homework. I okay, think, teacher. Wait, wait. I think, did I, did I give it to you last, uh, last time when we have class? Let me check first. No, teacher. Okay, one, four, two, eight. Ah, yes. Okay, so this one, I'll send it to you as your homework. And you can pass this one on Tuesday in our makeup class. Okay, Anne? 
teacher. Yes. But I think this was home. This homework is so easy. Ah, you want hard homework? Uh, you want a difficult homework? Yes. Okay, so let me make another homework for you. Okay. Okay, so now, do you since our time is over, do you still have other concerns? Uh, I don't understand just. Ah, okay. So do you have any other suggestion, question, or any clarification to me? No, I think no. Okay, so thank you so much for your suggestion that you want a difficult homework. Okay. okay. Thank you also for participating in our class today. I hope to see you on Tuesday. So enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your trip. Have a good night and keep safe always. Bye-bye, Anne. Ciao. Goodbye, teacher. A.M. Teacher yes. M. Yes, okay. goodbye. That's A.M. A.M. Teacher M. Yes, bye-bye. <laughs>